Petita standing to the left. And the smaller Sapsiri, having lost two finals today, lost the mixed double earlier. First, first match of today's finals. And now she also Ladies lost to Vita Marisa the in the women's the doubles. The but she is only 22 years old and got the time in front of her. She's got plenty of opportunities in the future. So I'm looking forward to seeing how she will do. And I believe she's got a great future in front of her. These two players, on the other hand, in badminton terms, is possibly not having the future in front of them. But how well they play still. 27 years old and 33 years old. Irawati, 27. Marisa, 33. And here we got the confirmation of 2014 US Open Women's Doubles Champions. With the trophy and the flowers. Now we invite the VIP for a group photograph. taken and very soon we are ready to move on to the last final of the day as I said and that's the men's doubles And here we are, this afternoon schedule, starting off with the mixed doubles and followed by men's singles, women's singles and the women's doubles. And as you can see, Marisa, Lita Marisa from Indonesia now won two titles this afternoon in the mixed doubles and the women's doubles. And we have now the men's doubles coming up. 
as the last match of today. And here we have the former world number one, Carsten Morgensen and Matthias Bow of Denmark. And uh, they are up against a good, very strong Thailand pair, Mani Pong Jungjit and Ibit Pong Kwa Kwa Pek. And here we've got Carsten Morgensen in front and Matthias Bow after him. Mani Pong Jongjit and his partner Ibit Pong Kwa Kwa Pek. The finalists of the men's doubles are Matthias Bow. In doubt is Matthias Bow, who is the uh, the left hand of the two Danes. And Manipong Jongjit. And in the Thailand pair is Manipong Jongjit, who is the more slender one of the two players. The Just in case you did not know. And what a story it has been for the Danish combination, Matthias Bow and Carsten Morgensen. They have played together for many, many years. I think the, the partnership started back in 2006. So it's been eight years. And they have had some fantastic wins over the years. Their best results, I would say, is uh, they won the Super Series finals in 2010. They won the All England in 2011, China Open, and the Super Series finals once again in 2011. Then obviously coming to the Olympics in London in 2012, they won the silver. And they won the silver again at the World Championship in Guangzhou in 2013. And this year, 2014, on their way, they won the, the tournament in Genobin, but on their way, they actually beat this combination. So it's interesting to see whether there will be any different result this time. And here we have it. The, uh, seeded second pair they ranked 18 in the world and the highest rank they have had is 11 and uh, it's a very very good combination this Thai pair and the way to the final Matthias Bow and Carsten Morgensen hasn't really been pushed they won 14-15 15-14 been quite easy for them, but the same can be said about their opponents. And as you can see, the head-to-head -head is one nil advantage for the Danes, and that was the Indian Open, as I mentioned earlier, where the scores were 21-15, 21-15, and that's just a few months back at the Indian Open. Here we got the uh, the umpire, Elaine Kong of the United States, and the service judge is Philip Chi, also from the United States. Okay, players, let's get ready. So the best results for uh, the uh, Taipei this season or this year in 2014 is the German Open where they got to the semi-final and lost to the very very good combination from Japan Endo and Hayakawa and then obviously the Indian Open just mentioned earlier also semi-final stage when they lost to Matthias Bow and Carsten Morgensen So we're soon ready to get this match off the round. And what we will see from the Danes is obviously they are so focused on 
the first three shots in the rally is to serve the return and that third shot I mentioned earlier in, in the women's doubles as well is very very important to this pair and that's where they're so strong especially Matthias Bow is good at the net and Carsten movements are much stronger from the baseline with a very very hard smash ladies and gentlemen on my right Matthias Bow, Karsten Morgensen, Denmark Thailand. I have both to serve to Mani Pong Dongjit. Love all. Play. Oh. Service over. One. Love. So we definitely have the two best pairs in the final, and that's nice. The number one seeds and the number two seeds and they have proved to be very strong on the way to the final that's what we saw earlier so it would be interesting to see how this match will develop i would consider the two danish uh, danish players to be top favorites to win and the thai pair really have to play well to, uh, to upset the two Danes, but uh, I'm sure they can raise the level, as what we saw here, that Puang Puapek really intercepted that one well. Smashed by Carsten Morgens and setting Matthias Bow up. Must be said as well that uh, Matthias Bow, the left-hander, did not take part in the Danish Thomas Kopp campaign in India due to a hernia operation. So he's been out of the game for a little while, and he's sort of slowly edging back into it. And I think that possibly can reflect today, you know, that he's possibly not settled completely into tournament mode yet. But uh, I'm sure that Carsten Morgens and his partner. Will do everything to help him. Service over. Three, four. And that's obviously the famous and favourite combination for the two Danes, Matthias Bow at the front and Carsten Morgensen at the back. And these counter-attacking shots from a defensive situation as what Matthias Bow did here is obviously one of the trademarks of this combination. Not just standing, lifting it, but really trying to play some constructive defensive play. Danes played after Matthias Bow's hernia operation was the Indonesian Open in last month where they lost the uh, last 16 to Fu Feng at Xiangnan of China. And uh, 
obviously has to stay in it, but he's been out of the game for a while. It takes a little while to get back again. And I think possibly that's one of the reasons why they've chosen to play this year's Open. To get back on track. That's way out. Not a very good start for Tyler Peer, Jung Jits and Puang Puapek. Jungjit here solid. players are not uh, really scared of defending because they're playing uh, against the drift. Oh, that's called in. That's very, very good length by Carsten Holdenson. As we saw earlier in, in the rally here, let's see if you can see. It's very close. Very close. They're not scared of lifting it. They can play really good, proper length. Okay. And they play up against uh, up against the drift from that side of the court. Just in the beginning here of this first game, I sort of noticed that the, the stronger of the two Danes in, on the defence is definitely Carsten Morgensen. And Matthias Bowl has made some mistakes in this defence, and that's something he's got to work on. But I'm sure that they will, you know, work their way into this match, whether that's enough for winning, because I think that the type here here has played really well and just in seven minutes they managed to edge to 11-6 at the mid-game into Good defense again by Jung Jit. Well covered by Carl Morgan at the net. But I think it was a good chance for John Butte to take. I think he, he played it bravely. Almost there. Trying to retain the initiative. Didn't succeed, but that was due to the good work of Morganson.
Russia really has to watch out. All about that service situation is so desperately important. Carsten Morgensen did really well here. That's much better. Pushing it away from the front player, and making the player behind work harder, that's what they did here. And Matthias Bowen, he couldn't control it and played it out on that baseline. Turned by Matthias Bow. Clipped the top of the tape. Still got to serve well here. Another good return by Pinchit. Once again, Matthias Bow is really under pressure in his defence here. Can't really get it away. smiling he knows that uh, that was a lucky shot just managed to control it got his right over the net but a very good lead again the time here. 16, 10, 11, 16. good play by the tears both that's where they're good the Danes that one two combination in the beginning of the service situation Pong Jungjit here, very adventurous from a very low position. It's not a shot in the book. When you play against a pair that's in the top three or four in the world, you will get punished. Rather play a more simple shot and you know stay in the rally, see if they have a chance of winning it. He will regret it should the Danes catch up and possibly win this first game because that is one of the points that maybe set it all off. And giving the Danes the confidence to get back into this match. so far and I would say that's understandable that was a, a miss had a good opportunity
point save. as well, eager to play, straight up, picking up the shuttle, ready to serve again. Want to maintain the momentum. And here's another one. So the first game goes to Thailand. Manipong Jongjit. And Nibid Pong won Gua Pek. After 15 minutes, won the first game 21 17. world number one, and at the moment, world number four, the Danes, Matthias Bowe and Carsten Morgensen, is in trouble. The silver medalist from the Olympics 2012 in London really have to find their very best up against this Thai pair who is playing brilliantly today. So interesting to see if they can find the answers in only the next 15, 20 minutes. We'll show. Good start Three. for the Danes. Oh. Well, I think the Thai pair really have to get used to that. They're playing with the drift now. But they can't, in the same way, lift it as what they did in the first opening game. So what they have to do, this is the answer. Attack, attack, attack. Play by Jongjit. Look at the cover that Wang Puapek is doing at the net, setting up his partner behind him. Really good combination, good teamwork. Oh, that's a good. Very nice drive cross court by Nicky Kong again. Good play. They get Matthias Bow out of the game at the front of the court, simply playing it around him. He's never really getting into it. That's good play by the ties. Now to follow up. New combination here. Five, four, 
He's pushing flat and casting his storming into the net. hard hitter. He's got good defence, he's hitting hard and he's serving well. What more can you ask for? Moments and is uh, feeling the urge to take more control in the partnership, really uh, launching himself in front of his partner and really helping him. And I think that's really great and getting his partner back into, back into form and position. So for the first time, the Danes having a small gap, three points nine six up. Movement to take this one here, so he was gone and got caught into that deep corner opposite. But the ties are playing well. So, by George, I sense the two ties, they really Seven. know they have a good chance today. You can see the expressions on their faces that you know they really want to win this one, and uh, it's nice to see you can see the urge. trouble. Today, how important it is to make use of that as well. And the Danes are 11 9 up at the mid game interval. And as you can see, they don't have coaching like what the Thailand pair is having, that the Danes haven't sent any coaches here to the US Open, which means that the players have to fend for themselves. But surely, this vast experienced pair of Karsten Morgens and then Matthias Bow, that's perfectly okay for them. 24 minutes so far. 
And the match is hanging in the balance, I think. As well as those, got a good attack, good defence, and a very good serve, and especially a very good serve under pressure. And that's nice to have. The first three points after the interval. It's got the Danish way. That shot. Whack across court. Kept it in. Huang Pua Peck. What a shot that was. And one more there. Another flat one. He's got a good whip in that wrist. Forearm. trying to play back wow. of the net from a very low position and uh, Carsten Morgensen is just waiting for it. Chances are that he will lose that is 95%. But he's still trying it. He's a very adventurous player. like that. I, I personally believe that the Danes are far too experienced to lose their second game, still having a five-point advantage. And now they have six again on that game six game points. 20-14. Service 
whistle, it was called, struck above the bay, waste. And the Danes take this second game, 21 15. Here we've got the confirmation, one game each. The number one seeds got the second game, lost the first 21 17, taking this second game 21 15 in 30 minutes. And we have a third, final, and deciding game coming up here in two minutes' time. He's catching Matthias Bow, but that's called a fault. Struck about the right at the waist. The service judge is saying. Philip Chi. the communication between the two Danes. They're still discussing how to attack this the best possible way. And I think that Carsten Mormonsen is really taking on the captain's role in the in the partnership, Wendy. helping his partners Level as much as possible, play. getting back on his feet. decide how to get up or not to get up. He was really late. And look at that, eventually he was up, attacking it, setting partner up. And what a beautiful shot that Junjit played there. I'm not sure he actually could get up. Slippery, slipping on the floor. Deep for one corner there. I actually think it clipped both the lines. Let's see. Um, won't see. Oh, yes. I think it's actually got the baseline and the sideline at the same time. played well constructed that backhand there was really good but it's going a little bit long I don't know if you noticed but I, I have actually noticed that I think 
That might be something wrong with the Matthias Bowe's left leg. He's sort of, I'm not saying he's limping a bit, but he's sort of, he looks like he's a little bit uncomfortable. It was him, it was him. But if it's up, then it's okay. It was this Four, oh, play. So Carsten was complaining that uh, he thought the Thailand players trying to influence the line Aye. person. Stop! When he's jumping. So 5-4 five, for so the Danes. And uh, it's heating up. This match. Ah. Ah. Uh, this match by Matthias Ball. Really nice to play down that line. Six. Impossible Four. for Juan Puapet to get it away. And should he get it away, then obviously Carsten Morgensen would be there. The net. Well played. Back to square one. One ah. game each and six all. And the third and deciding game here. Good serve by Juan Popek. That's why it's yes. Service over. Seven. See if there will be a different service return from Jungjit. Always trying to get it over the head of Matthias Bo just like that. So no change. By Matthias, uh, sorry, by Carsten Goldenson here. That block. Beautiful. So once again, Danes, two points ahead, 8 6 up. Fantastic drive down the line by Juan Popek. That backhand is really strong. Eight, you see now nine. here, that one there, that one. That is really very, very powerful. Too short. Opted to take it, but uh, it dropped just ah. below the the net, and then obviously it's very difficult to play it upwards. Right. And once again, one of the favourite 
turn. Into that court area. So the Danes 10 9 up. Surprising cross court attack from Carsten Morgans and did the damage. And Juan Guapek wasn't really ready for it. Look at that now, he's, he's hit on that forehand defense and he's not ready for it. Well spotted by Carsten Morgans and, and obviously Juan Guapek really have to watch out for these cross court smashes. And once again, confirmation 40 minutes, 21 17. 15, 21, 9, 11. 20 seconds. 20 seconds. 11, 9. Well defended by Matthias Bow here. Attacking play by the Thai, Thai players here. Service over, 10, 11. So cheeky play by Jong Jit. It's unbelievable. If he gets away with that. And he did. Oh, I mean, he did not punish to get punished for that one. That was a tricky shot. I don't know if we get to see it. No, we don't. Good interception here, winning the point for Thailand. This is a square level. Open with this fantastic men's doubles to watch. Fast and furious all the way, and the crowd are loving it.
quite interesting when you sit behind the court here and you can see the hand signals that the players are giving one another when they, they're about to serve. And uh, I, I can see that Juan Guapekis has given two different signs to his partner, but he served in the exact same spot, which I find quite amusing. out they got to follow now 16 12 will be very difficult this is a crucial point in the match Very important. Good interception by Matthias Bow. And Jungjit really have to come up with a good return now. really trying to play a, a different return of serve and uh, I think it caught a smile on uh, Matthias Bow's face. And it's definitely been a lot, lot closer than last time they played at the Indian Open in, in April where Bo and Morganson won 15-15. Ah. This is going all the way. Ah. Did I say before ah. how crucial and important it was for the Danes to ensure that they stayed with their opponents when they were 16-13 down. Now it's 16 all. Serving here. Yeah. Uh, that was a good return by Jungit. So all square, 17 all. And obviously we can go all the way to 29 all. And then it will become sudden death. And uh, the match of the game can only go to 30. Oh, that's a beauty. That is a beauty. What a wonderful shot by Juan Huapet. What a wonderful shot. Well spotted, Matthias Bow was going for the straight one and he caught him off balance with that cross court drop shot. Really well spotted. A shot like that could change a match. Two points away. 
away from victory here at the US Open. The Danes have to come up with shots like that to stay in the match at the moment. The Thai pair is really playing well. Match points 2018 off against the number four pair in the world. Yeah! And here it comes. And the time pair is winning 21 18 in the third game against the Danes. The silver medalist from the Olympics 2012 and the silver medalist from the World Championship in 2013. Well played by Thailand. Really magnificent match we were watching here today. And here we've got the confirmation. Jung Jit and Wang Pua Pek. 21-17, 15-21, 21-18. Match point and Jung Jit finished it. And we're getting ready for the prize presentation. Where are the precedents? of the Onyx USA, Mr. Hiro Ibihara is going to present the prizes. And obviously we have to get the players ready now and they're getting back into position, getting instructed how to stand and where to stand and all that before they're called for the prize presentation. Nice to see that people are staying back. We want to see the players receive their trophies, Ladies and gentlemen, which is really nice. Welcome Good to the award presentation ceremony of the men's double starts. finals. At the 2014 Yonick Suffolk County Community College U.S. Open Championships, part of the BWF Grand Prix Gold Series. The runners up are Matthias Bo and Karsten Mogensen, representing Denmark. And here the two days. Karsten the Mogensen the amount and the of right, Matthias Bo on the left. It's presented to Matthias. Runners up at the US Open Men's Doubles 2014. And not completely happy, I can see on their faces, but obviously that's the way it is. And it's Mr. Hiro Ibihara, the president of Yonex USA, presenting the, the prizes. And the prize money in the amount of $9,480 here at the 2014 Yonex Suffolk County Community College. U.S. Open Championship is presented to Mani Pong Jongjit. And here we have the winners. Mani Pong Jongjit and Dibit Pong Hua Hua Pek from Thailand. What a wonderful performance. Really a nice way to finish this afternoon. What a match we saw in the men's doubles where they won 
21 17, 15, 21, 21, 18. And it's Huang Guapek at the left and Jung Jit on the right. Now Happy sm smiling faces. It's nice to see. Photograph. I think that was the first victory against the two Danes. Pictures taken as usual. And I really think these two Thai players deserve to win today. I think they they played the better game. They were looking for the opportunities and really trying their very best and it succeeded. And here we have the results of this afternoon. Started off with the mixed doubles, where Manipong Jongjit and Samsung Risi Thai Ratatanai from Thailand, they lost to the vast experienced pair, Mohamed Rijal and Vita Marisa, 21-16, 21-19. After that, it was the defending champion, Yuan Jianmin of Vietnam, up against the second chief Chinese Taipei, Zhu Chenchen. And he won 21-19, 14-21, 21-19. It was a close match coming back from six points down in that first game. Followed by the women's singles where the Chinese born number three seed from USA, Shang Bei Wen, 121-8, 21-17 against Kana Ito from Japan. That was followed by the women's doubles where Petita and Saps received from Thailand. They lost again to the newly formed partnership, very experienced. Iravati and Marisa from Indonesia, 21-15, 21-10. Finally, we had the men's doubles, and that was, again, Manipong Jongjit and his partner, this time Wang Puapek, winning against Matthias Bo and Carsten Mogensen, 21-17, 15-21, 21-18. And I hope you have enjoyed the wonderful game of badminton this afternoon with us. Do join us again for some more action next week when we will be back showing semi-finals and finals from Chinese Taipei Grand Prix Gold in Taiwan. From myself, Morton Frost, and the rest of the crew, bye for now. Yeah,